So a lot of times the inspiration for these videos comes from my pet peeves. So I'll either be online or I'll hear something in public and uh, I'll just be really irked because people have it completely ass backwards of what's really going on. So I'll come here and make a video and try to explain. And in this video, the concept that's bugging me today is GMOs. And everybody watching my videos, I'm going to assume is pretty well versed on this GMO issue. Uh, if you're not, do it. And if you still eat genetically engineered ingredients, stop right now. Anyway, um, I mean, there's been a huge public awakening, especially with the March Against Monsanto movement, where many, many people are waking up to the reality of uh, the truth behind GMOs the past few years. And Jeffrey Smith, if you don't understand the GMO issue, look up Jeff Jeffrey Smith at the Institute of Responsible Technology. This guy is a GMO genius, and he basically deconstructs every biotech propaganda uh, talking point there is, right? He scientifically shows you that genetically engineered foods are not healthy. They will destroy your digestive system and your brain. They are not helpful to the environment. They actually increase pesticide usage tremendously, and they do not increase yield, which is, you know, biotechs and Monsanto's main selling point for GMO foods is that, oh, they increase yield. Uh, they don't do that. So... Anyway, there's all of that information aside. One of the talking points that really grinds my gears that I want to focus on here is when people say, oh, everything's a GMO. As if what they try to say, what they try to back up their argument with is that, oh, you know, we have been modifying plants through natural agriculture for millennia to build stronger traits in the plants that we want. So, you know saying these things coming from Monsanto are any different than what we've been doing for thousands of years is completely false, and yada yada, and that's their, you know, propaganda bullshit. Uh, totally false. This is what's called hybridization. What people that say this, like, oh, we've been genetically engineering things for thousands of years. This has been hybridization. What essentially this is, is you take two plants that are really strong plants, and you try to naturally have them reproduce and combine them together. That is... Um, as if I wanted to have a child that had blue eyes, I'm going to go try to find a chick that has blue eyes. And then through natural processes, we try to make a child with blue eyes. This is far different than the artificial genetic engineering that Monsanto and those other corporations do. And this is what's so important to understand. They're not the same thing. Uh, what these companies will try to do is literally take their genetic code and they'll use, sometimes, I know one technique is called a gene gun. They'll literally put this genetic code that they want in the plant in a gene gun. They'll put the plant on like a gold plate and they'll literally shoot that gene at the genetics of the plant to try and um, splice it the correct way, right? They'll do this thousands of times and then they'll plant thousands of trials to try to hopefully grow one with the trait they like. That's what they do to uh, test and patent genetically engineered seed, to patent quite literally life, to patent their products. Um, it's a complete random like, hope this works, hope this works, hope this works, and then they plant them all and they try to find one that grows with the traits they want. So it's a complete guess game and it ruins us and the environment. You mess with the genetics of nature of what God did, it's going to have some issues with us. I don't know how people don't understand that. Like, oh, you know, <laughs> messing with the genes of my sustenance is fine. I don't know. Anyway, they're two very different things. So keep that in mind. Artificial GMOing, GMOing is very bad in all forms. And hybridization, it, um, one thing I do want to stress though about hybridization is that it depends. It must be a very slow natural process when you breed plants for stronger traits that you want naturally. One instance that it is becoming detrimental to humans is wheat, right? We've done so much natural, it's been natural modification, but we've done so much hybridization of this plant that the gluten protein is becoming so complex and our bodies can't break it down. So it must be done slowly with our biology given time to process the changes in the plants if we are going to hybridize. So that's that's a very important uh, piece of this puzzle. But that's, that's the video I wanted to do. No, not everything is genetically modified. Um, and if you don't understand the uh, GMO issue and what ingredients are specifically in our foods to avoid 
please do so because these GMO foods are screwing up our genetics. They are leading to all types of diseases, especially cancers, digestive disorders, and nervous system dysfunctions. And, um, I mean, on the deepest level, they're not letting us literally spiritually grow because if we mess the DNA of our plant and it screws up our DNA, our DNA this can cannot thus cannot cohere itself to um, basically activate the codons that aren't activated or activate our junk DNA or to uh, cohere energies or biophotons properly. So, yeah, basically, don't eat GMO stuff. You're going to save yourself and the planet. Done.